The idea was, if you had a new SARS-CoV-2 genome sequence, and you had to figure out how it was related to all of the other ones we already knew about, how could we do that? Every day we had hundreds of new sequences that were being shared uh, on online databases, and the existing tools were not able to keep up with it. What I want to know, when there's a new individual that tests positive, where could they have gotten this? And so by being able to very quickly find the other viruses that are very similar, it gives me clues as to where it may have come from. Prior to our work in Usher, you gather all of the sequences and we figure out how they're related to each other exactly one time. But the problem with that is that if you find a new genome, you have to do the whole tree from scratch. We really needed a way to quickly add a new genome sequence to a tree that was already pretty big. That's how we decided to develop Asher as a tool. The name is actually Ultra Fast Sample Placement on Existing Trees. It's a way that I can keep adding new genomes into what I already know, process them, find their closest relatives, and show you how they're related to everything that we know about already. It'll put back out what's called a tree. It's kind of like a family tree of the virus. And it might give you a clue about where in the world a new introduction in your community came from. And so we started working with the Genome Browser team to set up a public web portal that would take users' sequences. They can literally just paste them into a text box and do the whole analysis for them. We started out, most trees of genomes would have a few hundred little genomes or maybe a few thousand genomes, but very quickly there were like 10,000, 30,000, and 60,000. Pretty quickly got to a million <laughs> genome sequences. And you know, the, the rest is history. Now we're, we're pretty close to 14 million. That makes us potentially the first group in the world to build a phylogenetic tree from whole genome sequences and a million of those. You can upload a sequence and seconds later, you will see the answer to your question. And so if you can do that kind of thing and connect those so quickly for people, it's very easy for them to see why it's valuable to them and see what else they could do with it and start to adopt it. Today, uh, in fact, Usher has become the default tool for doing comprehensive SARS-CoV-2 analysis and also for naming variants in the most widely used scientific nomenclature. Usher is either implicitly or explicitly used by almost every public health lab that's working with SARS-CoV-2 genome sequences. We think Usher is going to be applied to tracking almost every major human pathogen. To influenza, it could be applied to monkeypox, it could be applied to RSV tuberculosis, uh, and all sorts of other infectious diseases. What we're calling this new paradigm of phylogenetics is online phylogenetics. The idea is that you're never stopping, you're just always adding, it's always online, you keep growing this forever. Usher is the aggregate effort of literally thousands of people all over the world. Our whole thing would be completely useless if people weren't doing that, right? So it isn't just um, our end of the process developing the software and applying the software. It's the whole enormous worldwide effort to generate these data and share these data as quickly as possible.